small Montana town is in the spotlight once again after a television show and now a movie is being made about the Unabomber case. MTN's Margaret DeMarco is on special assignment in Lincoln. 22 years ago, this small Montana town was put on the map after the Unabomber was apprehended here. We've been around for a long time. Jerry Burns moved to Lincoln, Montana when he was seven years old. We had more service stations at that time and uh, we had the uh, sawmills were going pretty good. We didn't have a high school up here, so we boarded away to Augusta. After college and a year of fighting in the Vietnam War, Burns came back home to start his career. I wanted to work for the Forest Service all the time, so. Burns soon went to the law enforcement side of the service and worked with the FBI in several cases over the years. In January of 1996, the FBI contacted Burns and asked him to come to Helena, but told him not to tell anyone. And at that time, the Freeman were in Montana. We have some people in Lincoln with similar beliefs, so I thought it was a Freeman case. Burns says he was shocked to learn that Ted Kaczynski was a suspect in the Unabomber case. Knew where he lived, and we called him the hermit that lived under Baldy, so, you know, he never had too much contact with a lot of people. In April, with only a search warrant in hand, Burns, along with FBI agents Tom McDonald and Max Knoll, headed to Kaczynski's cabin. Got up to Ted's cabin, and I started yelling, Ted, Ted, are you home? And he opened the door. Um, Ted were with the mining company because you show us your boundary lines. He went to step back in the cabin and I grabbed his wrist and out he came. The search team made their way into the cabin and they found several items that linked Kaczynski to the Unabomber case. He kept a daily diary of everything he did and all the bombs he had sent and everything and he had his typewriter that he wrote the manifesto on. And over the years, Burns has kept the confession letter and diaries that Kaczynski wrote in every day. An operation of this size and scale is unprecedented. We believe it to be a singular opportunity to lure the Unabomber into the light. Over the last 22 years, there have been several media stories, a TV show, and now a film is being shot right here in Lincoln. TV show? That was terrible. Uh, it was very inaccurate. <laughs> But there are a lot of people in the town of Lincoln that do not like the attention the Unabomber case brings to the town. Part of the Lincoln history and everything, so it's going to be around. The community of Lincoln prides themselves on how much they have grown in the last 22 years. They have a sculpture park, they developed the river park, and they've even recently become a gateway community to the Continental Divide Trail. On special assignment, Margaret DeMarco, MTN News. And there's no release date yet for the film that is currently being shot in Lincoln.